Hi, uh, in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to use package information widget and Flutterflow. Um, yeah, the package information plus package. Um, it is something like a package where if you want to display uh, package information of your applications on your app, then this particular package is more useful. If we look at the likes so there are 846 at this point so it looks like it's quite famous and people are really pointing more and and, and then it's quite more popular so how to use this in flutterflow so that is what i'm going to explain you now right um, i'm inside flutterflow now so you should go to your sample application or whichever application you would like to write that uh, customer budget so go to that particular application and navigate to uh, custom code uh, section and custom widget. So here I have already created uh, plenty of custom widgets. I'm going to talk about package info demo of the custom widget which I have created. So basically to display uh, the, the package information on the application, so we should um, add package info plus 1.4.2 version uh, pop spec dependency to the uh, custom code once you have added so this is the code you should write so let me explain this code so basically it's a, a stateful widget um, it imports um, package info plus dot um, this particular uh, class uh, from package info plus uh, dependency um, if you come to this package uh, stateful widget you can see that um, in init state I'm calling init package information method so this method which I have written here eventually um, it calls um, the package info uh, which is um, the package info uh, uh, the property has been defined here so I have used uh, list style just to uh, display the information you can use any different widgets so in my case uh, if you go to the output you can see that so I'm going to display app name package name app version build number and um, the build signature so this information I have to display so I'm going to use um, column yeah so you, it depends on however you want you can uh, whichever widgets you can use you can use that so once one when you run this in um, this particular uh, app and uh, on this page so package info package it pulls the information from your uh, the running device if this package is running on um, a real device it pulls the information from the real uh, real phone um, uh, if it is web it, it picks the uh, web information yeah so for example now what I'm showing here is the on the web run mode so uh, most of the information is not set so if you display on uh, a real uh, device which I'm using Android device you can say um, your app name which is application name the, the given name of the application so uh, this particular app is displaying there and go back package information this is the packet information which I have given in the settings and app version build number so these are the information which is pulling from the uh, the, the first version of the uh, APK is being installed in this particular um, real device. So, in your case, uh, in custom cases, if you want to display your custom information, so you can edit these information, and and whatever information is going to give you, so that displays on the app. Okay. So what I have done, um, once you have created this uh, custom widget. And, and go to a particular page uh, in your app. In my case, uh, I think I 
have one particular page where master home and this package and and I have a page called packing information page so that's where I have added the um, that custom widget um, from the uh, from the components so when you run that this particular app or navigate this particular page it displays something like this so in web it's supposed to display information but it's not displaying there it could be because of the web version but in real real device ios and android it definitely is going to display um, um the information something like this okay so for the example I'm, I'm showing android one uh, in your case you can use ios or any um, other device okay um i um i have copied uh code into my uh, git uh, github page where you have entire working code so you can copy this paste it into your project and run app and see how the how, how it looks if you have any issues you can come to this particular page and add your uh, questions or any feedback i'm happy to update this code to based on your requirement i hope uh, this video helps you uh, please add your comments and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you